Hello people, everybody said their stuff about Twilight, so I think I can chime in with my one or two cents. Well, Twilight is a series of books which are the tiles, the first one Twilight, then there's New Moon, then there's Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and uh, Midnight Sun, which uh, has been the object of a huge bitch fit by the so-called author. Surely, what Twilight has taught me is that you don't need to know how to write to be an author. And that Mary Sue's are hugely popular. Well, the story is about uh, Bella Swan, who moves to Forks, decides to move to Forks despite her hating it for some sort of sacrifice for her mother who, whom she has a, a terrible opinion of <coughs> to go live with her father whom she's uh, indifferent about and actually she, think she doesn't like him to go in a place where she doesn't like to be and uh, you know meet people she doesn't like and uh, remark about it for a hundred and a half maybe even the whole book the whole first book <coughs> and uh, then at <coughs> in fourth she meets this guy Edward Cullen also called Vampire Inferno for the people who are actually normal and uh, this guy and Bella seemed to be destined to be a match made in hell. So there's the relationship, there's this love. This love has taken a t this, its toll on me. She cried and winced too many times before. And bonus points is everyone who knows where this was from. Well, the story is basically. Bella and Edward are in love. Yes, that's it. That's the story. There's some stuff with, uh, you know, evil vampires, covens, uh, ancient covens, you know, Volturi, um, vampires killing in Seattle and stuff. But that's window dressed into the important love story of Edward and Bella. I mean it. I do mean it. A vampire move, a vampire book series in which the vampire stuff is window dressing. Really? Wait to miss the point. Um, let's start this at the book. Well, the book is very long and also excruciating to read. I mean, it's uh, it's fourteen four forty four hundred pages and stuff of uh, the main character whining, bitching, moaning about everything. Really, really, she's eighteen, yet she's. Uh, <clears throat> the most immature person I've ever met. Really, if if everyone could could hear what she thinks, she would be knocked hard down from her pedestal. Really, in uh, she doesn't speak well about anyone. She doesn't think well about anyone except oh so perfect Edward and his. Sparkles, oh my god! When she's with others, she's a queen bitch. And not an entertaining queen bitch like Blair Waldorf, who actually is very likable and sympathetic. No, she's a bitch, through and through. It's a person who you really would like to kill in the most inventive ways. 
And then when uh, she is with Sparkle Pie, the romance seems uh, more like abuse, abusive relationships. He manipulates her, he watches her sleep without her knowledge. He even uh, <coughs> takes <coughs> the engine out of her car to prevent her from going to see a friend and there's no danger involved. He leaves her and knowing fully well that that will make her suicidal, not that she was a bright mind to begin with. She was the dullest crayon <coughs> in the pocket to begin with. Really, it's, uh, that book is a disgrace to writers. Women writers, men writers, fantasy writers, drama writers, even the people who write just uh, <coughs> school papers are disgraced by Stephanie Mayer. I'll put it clear, Stephanie Mayer can't write. She has no idea of plot, no idea of suspense, no idea of romance, no idea of anything at all. People call this story romance. It's disturbing. It's, I call it abuse. Even though the target is more than deserving of abuse, I for one wouldn't mind having a bloody death scene of her, death scene where she can't get up in one of the next uh, movies, since the, the Twilight movie is very different from Twilight book, it might happen. They realize that Bella is an awful bitch and they kill her. <sighs> she's still in an abusive relationship for the reasons I said above. That's not love. That's the fashion. So it fails as a romance because uh, what's supposed to be heartwarming instead is creeping us out. Then there's the fact that uh, these vampires are nothing like vampires. If they're not vampires, if you want to make something different, create a new creature. God damn it, call them elves. Call them, I don't know, rainbow creatures. Create a new world for God's sake. Just don't call them vampires. Vampires are one thing and yours are not vampires. Yours are fail pies, if anything. And, uh, well, to conclude the part one, I'll talk about something that irks me out about the book. Well, the, the series ends with uh, Bella and Edward leaving the <coughs> impossible and uh, very annoying love, as we all know they would, for forever and ever and ever without having had to, you know, fight wars, sacrifice anything. Dull, dull as a base room, the both of them, even having had a daughter to which they have given a name that will, ha will earn her repetitive uh, <coughs> sneerings uh, in uh, whenever she is near other people. Renee is me. Are you kidding me? But it, but all is well for Jacob because he has imprinted on uh, on Renee's me before she was even conceived. And to top it off, in uh, another werewolf manages to imprint the way. <coughs> they fall in love with people on that little girl and he's a teenager. How's that for pedophilia? Stephanie Mayer, you sicken me. More in part two.